fresh cup of coffee. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. I've got my new coffee creamer that's a little chunky, a little grainy looking, very nervous. I'm hoping that my hot coffee is going to chunky. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get over this, y'all. This one may be a no-go for me. I'm very much a texture person, so literally seeing the chunks This one's not for me. I think I need to stick with the base that I made before and then adding flavors to that base. So the milk and the sweetened condensed milk mixed together because this is not good. If anyone has a homemade coconut coffee creamer that does not call for coconut milk, I guess let me know. I know you can use coconut extract, so I may try that later down the road, but now I'm like, bleh. Tuesday's lunches for Kevin. I was going to like cook him cook him stuff like I had last week, but then um, he was like, "Would it just be easier?" I'm put you guys on the windowsill for a second. He's like, "Would it just be easier if I take leftovers?" And I'm like, "In a way, yes. I'm still gonna have to cook. Like I'll have to cook dinners because we won't have leftovers for dinners, but." It will be easier because I won't have to cook essentially two meals, if that makes sense. I don't know. In my head, it made sense. So the meatloaf, we had enough meatloaf left over on whatever day I made meatloaf. I've already forgotten that he had, I guess it was Sunday, that he had lunch for Monday and Tuesday. So today is Tuesday and I was going to make those pizzas for Wednesday and Thursday's lunch for him. But then I was like, I'm gonna make the egg rolls tonight, like the egg roll in a bowl. And I'm looking at the meat, I'm looking at the cabbage and the um, carrots and like everything that I'm putting in it. And I'm like, it seems like it's gonna make a decent amount. So I'm thinking that even with me and him eating it tonight for dinner, he should be able to get at least one day of, um, leftovers out of it so but I'd already pulled the meat out to make the pizza so I don't like letting like raw meat sit in our fridge so I'm going ahead and cooking the chicken now I pulled out the bacon so it can thaw and then um I'm going to maybe cook the bacon tomorrow depending on how much we have left over tonight if it can feed him for Wednesday and Thursday's lunches, that would be ideal. And then I can just make the pizza like this weekend for us um, for one of the evenings because it'll be like a quick meal that I can make after we do the yard sale and stuff. So I'm just kind of like prepping all of that so it'll be in the fridge and I can shred the chicken and then um, be able to throw the pizza together because normally I do make the pizza with a rotisserie chicken, but we have chicken at the house, so I'm just trying to use what we have. Um, so that is what I'm doing right now. Luke is down for his first nap. He kind of fought it a little bit, but 
went down eventually. So I'm hoping it's going to be like all of the other first naps that you've been taking, which has been a little bit more on the longer side. So I can knock some stuff out. I went ahead and I made some apples this morning for him. So those have cooled and they're now in the fridge. He had about one more break, one more day of blueberries left in the fridge. So I knew that I needed to make the apples and the apples were buy one, get one at um, Publix this week. So I went ahead and I got those steamed and like seasoned with cinnamon. So those are in the fridge and ready for him. That'll be like a couple days worth. And then I still have a whole bag and a half left of apples that I need to figure out like what to do before they go bad. I'm not 100% sure if I want to, um, what I want to do with them. So that is my morning update right now. I asked Kevin on the way home to stop by either a Publix or a Walmart because I just need him to grab me a couple things to make a different coffee creamer because the one that I made this morning, obviously, you guys saw was not good. Um, not sure what happened there. Maybe I just don't like coconut milk. Maybe that coconut milk, I don't know. Is it supposed to always be chunky like that? Unsure. I think I saw that coconut milk has like fats and stuff in it. So maybe that was like the fat globs that just like couldn't disintegrate. I'm not sure, but now I know unless it's like cooked into something, I don't like just coconut milk. Tastes just like an egg roll in a bowl. Because it doesn't have the crunch of the, mm -hmm. the shell. I'm okay with that. This would be a bomb filling in those things that I make the cheese brick egg rolls in sometimes. Wonton, yeah. Perhaps. And then air fry them. But it's not keto, so. I made my first over easy egg today in a frying pan, and I'm hoping. I'm hoping that, oh, I think I overcooked it. <laughs> Good morning. We are having breakfast. Luca slept in a little bit this morning. He slept until almost eight, which I was gonna let him keep sleeping in like as long as he wanted because I figured he's sick, he's getting over his ear infection. And if he's still sleeping, obviously he needs it. Which is funny because if you go back a couple months ago, I'm, I was like, I will not let him sleep in, but I feel like if we have nothing going on during the day, what's it gonna hurt, you know? Um, but then I remembered that we have physical therapy today at 11.30, so I need his first nap to be on schedule. So I got up and I started unloading the dishwasher and kind of like lightly clanking around in the kitchen and it woke him up. So he got up at like 7.45ish played for a little bit. Now we're having breakfast. I'm letting mine cool down for a second because I don't want to like burn my mouth. Um, my first ever over easy egg, which I think I think I messed up, um, but that's okay. We're learning. We've got a big storm coming today. And we also have our blinds are being delivered today by FedEx. Um, it's supposed to rain all day today and it's supposed to rain pretty bad. So I'm hoping that FedEx is going to be like, 
oh dang, let me, um, let me bring their package to the front porch and not leave it by the road because like, I don't want our blinds to get ruined and rained on. And I don't have the tracking number to constantly check on them. I guess I could ask for the tracking number from Kevin. So then I can keep up with seeing if they've been delivered or not. And if they have and it's raining, I guess I can jump in my car and go fetch them. I've got a little bit of stuff to do today. I've already knocked some stuff off of my list this morning. Um, tomorrow is Kevin's birthday. So we had a Birch Brothers brownie mix in the pantry. I was gonna bake him like a cake, but then I remembered we had the brownie mix and I was like, let me make those. So I'm gonna bake some brownies for him today. I was also going to make um, him some bread, but I think I'm actually going to hold off on the bread until I make the burgers, which will be probably next week. Um, that way he'll have bread for his burger. All right, we got, oh, oh I did it. It's gooey. It just popped on me like a pimple. Wow. You guys, I'm so proud of myself. All right, so I have Luca down for his first nap. Seems like he's fighting it a little bit. So I'm hoping that this thunder will not keep him up because it's getting pretty rumbly, but I need him to sleep for physical therapy. So. I'm making my um, coffee creamer for this week, round two. Still coconut, but this time I'm doing, I found a chart on Pinterest and I don't know why I just didn't go buy this chart in the beginning, um, but instead of coconut milk, it's using coconut extract. So I had Kevin pick that up yesterday. I had him pick up the sweetened condensed milk and we have milk in the fridge. So I figured, I liked that base last time, so let's stick with that base and go from there. So I'm gonna grab those things, we're gonna mix it up, and then tomorrow morning will be my first morning trying the new coconut coffee creamer. So for this one, it is one and a half cups of milk, one can of sweetened condensed milk, which I don't know if you guys saw when I opened it, it kind of like exploded a little bit. I shook it. I'm not sure why I shook it before I opened it, but that might've been my issue. And then two teaspoons of coconut extract. So I'm hoping it's gonna be sweet enough. I know I said that, not sweet enough, but like coconut-y coconut enough. I know I said that last time um, with the vanilla one, so we'll see tomorrow morning if I need to tweak it or how it is. Luca fell asleep. So I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go ahead and make the brownies now while he's sleeping or let me see how long it takes to cook them. Let me also put this, this and this up really quick. So it says this takes about 30 minutes to bake. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go take a shower really quick um, to go ahead and knock that out. And then I'll probably come out and bake this off. Um, that way my shower and everything is done and out of the way. Kevin's stuff comes out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cook off the bacon. I was going to make the pizzas <clears throat> tomorrow, but Kevin is thinking that he's gonna take tomorrow off because it's his birthday. And I wanna cook our ham tomorrow for Easter. 
that way it's already like in our fridge and we can eat on it all weekend because I'm thinking we're going to be very busy this weekend with the estate sale so I just want food readily available to us um and I think we're going to do the pizzas my plan is to make two but we'll see my I think we're going to do the pizza tonight for dinner because I don't have anything else planned <laughs> FedEx driver today and he came all the way up to the house and just delivered our blinds so they're not in the rain and I don't have to drive to go get them which is amazing so um our blinds are now here Kevin said that he wanted to put them up possibly tomorrow so that's exciting I've got Kevin's brownies cooling the bacon is now in the oven cooking that way it can cool off and I can crumble it and then tonight when I make the pizzas, all I have to do, honestly, okay, so Kevin works tonight. So I may actually try to make the pizzas during Luca's second nap. Maybe. We'll see. I just realized we're missing a blind. I just lined them up. I was like, wait, we have five blinds we were supposed to get, and we have one out of five, three out of five, four out of five, and five out of five, but we're missing two out of five. So, shit. But the FedEx driver did take a photo of them on our front porch before I brought them inside. So, hopefully, they can see clearly that they're missing a box from that photo because I guess we're gonna have to call them and let them know. I also washed Luca's bath toys because they were getting like kind of slimy feeling. So I washed them in some vinegar and water and then washed them with some like clean and clear, the seventh generation clean dish soap. Um, and they feel much better now. We made sure to get ones that didn't have any holes in them so they couldn't get moldy, but the outsides were just getting gross. So. Anyhow, all of his little bath toys are drying now, and I scrubbed his tub down, so that's all clean. So, we just finished up PT, and Luca did pretty good during it. I'm hoping that Luca takes a good little second nap, because his first nap was only an hour and a half, and he usually takes a little bit longer first nap than that recently. So we'll see, but I'm going to enjoy my pita. My list of stuff that I have to do today is pretty much done except for my making dinner. So not bad. Oh, also I messaged Kevin about our missing blind. Um, and I guess he messaged FedEx and even though FedEx, for our shipping label, like our shipping tracking number. Our tracking number said that there was five items in the shipment. There's still one that's moving through the something. So they sent us a separate tracking number for the one missing blind and it's still on its way. So the guy didn't forget to give it to us. That was literally the only blinds he had for us today. Mm -hmm. For someone who is um, obsessed with sugar, which would be me, those are delicious for having zero sugar. I just scraped the little pieces that like fell off of it. Um, very, very good. I just want to say I'm out of breath because I've been running around the kitchen. Luca's been chasing me in his little Bronco. The one thing that I've gotten from Timu that I have not been disappointed in has been cards. So I got a bunch of cards for Kevin from Timu. I got an anniversary card, I got a Valentine's Day card, and I got his birthday card. 
all in like one order um, from when I was ordering stuff for Luca's birthday. They're super duper cheap. They don't have anything written on the inside of them, but the front of them are really cute. So this is the one that I got him for his birthday. We loved watching The Office when we very, very, very first started dating. So it just says, you're old, boom, roasted. It's really cute and it was very cheap and it comes with the envelope and everything. pizza is in the oven the crust looked fine after I took it out and let it cool and everything it just was looking weird while it was baking but we still have a decent amount of shredded chicken left and about half of a bag of our crumbled bacon so I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough almond flour to make another pizza tomorrow but we'll see if not, I can probably figure out something else to use the chicken and the bacon for. Also update on our um, lettuce. The middle is turning kind of green. So I don't know, we may be onto something, we may not. I need to change its water because you're supposed to change it daily and it's looking a little yellow, didn't change it this morning, so. I don't know if I added it in here too late in its life. If I was supposed to add it while it still had some leaves, unsure, but we get romaine lettuce a lot, kind of. So especially when we wanna make lettuce boats and stuff. So if I did do this one a little too late, I'll make sure to do the next one not as late. Miss Rachel's in the background of all my videos. All right, let's give it a test. See how it is. It's probably hot as heck. Nope, not bad. Delicious. All right, Luca is down for bed. The house is cleaned up. All of the dishes are done. Kevin's brownies in his card is sitting out for him for when he gets home. I'm like, do I want to leave it out for him for when he gets home or do I want to hide it and put it out tomorrow morning? I'm just going to leave it out. That's too much work to hide it and then pull it back out. So anyhow, I'm going to edit the last two days worth of vlogs and get it exported um so yeah productive productive days over here